excited for today's lesson because when Tori met Tori with a Y and an I, the magic started happening. Now, I always believe in the power of a great introduction. And my gorgeous friend Georgie introduced me to Tori Packer, who is the Instagram expert. And we're gonna be taking a deep dive in this lesson today to tell you how you can step up and into your power to attract those business opportunities you truly deserve. Welcome, Tori. I cannot wait to get into this with you. This is such juicy stuff. Let's go. Let's go. Number one, how do people find you? Okay, this is a great question and one on very many people's lips. The best way that people can find you on Instagram, I would say there's three main ways, virality, consistency, and collaboration. So let's unpack that a little bit, virality. Let's talk about the best ways you can go viral. There's lots of noise out there and I invite everybody to try and dim down the volume on all the noise and turn up the volume on what, what works for them, what speaks true to their heart. So this is how I suggest you go viral. Firstly, you need to look at what social content in your niche is already working. And the way you can do that is you can look at hashtags to do with your industry on your niche. So I could look at the hashtag Instagram growth and I literally search through the reels that have the hashtag Instagram growth and I see what already has social proof, what's already getting lots of likes, lots of shares, lots of comments. That's one way. Now, the secret squirrel is TikTok actually is two weeks in front of Instagram. The best bit about it is you don't actually need a TikTok account to use it for research. So just get on the app and type in a keyword related to your industry or your niche. So I could type in Instagram growth on TikTok. Now I use a little filter, it's in the top hand, right hand corner of your phone screen. And I use the filter that says most liked and in the past week and everything's gonna show about Instagram growth because that's the key word that I used because that's my industry and my niche. Everything's going to show all the TikTok videos that has had the most social interaction in the last week. And I can literally recreate that over on Instagram using my own little spin and my own little vibe at a trending audio and your virality chances are increased phenomenally. So what you're saying is, all the information's already online. We just need to know how to access it. Girlfriend, you know it. That's exactly <laughs> right. I'm learning something new here as well because I always go down this, you know, path of how do I do this? How do I create this? And often I'm asking my daughter for advice where really what you're saying is we actually have it right in front of us. We have it right in front of us all along and I want to empower all the beautiful people in this lesson to know that it's right there at our fingertips. You just need to look for it and put your own little spin on it. So that's virality. Next, I want to talk about collaborations. Collaborations are incredibly, incredibly powerful. This is a collaboration today. And I want to invite our students to Look at the calendar a year in advance. Now, what national or international days can they really leverage to create incredible collaborations? So it could be as something as out there as National Donut Day, and you might be um, your local coffee shop and you might collaborate with a donut store and guess what? They can come in and they can get both on that day. Or you might be a social media person who posts about donuts that day and um, you get a partnership with Dunkin Donuts or with Krispy Kreme Donuts. You can get as creative as you want or you can collaborate with people within your niche. The best part about collaborating with people within your niche is you share a similar audience. And when you share an audience, it's a value add for both of you. Mm. It's very powerful and it definitely packs a punch because I know when you're tapping into like-minded audiences, your reach is far greater then when you go into an audience that is actually not verified or it's like you're starting again. So the most powerful tool for people to actually move forward powerfully is to tap into like-minded audiences. 100%. And can I also give a little caveat with that? I think there's a huge narrative around this story that you have to have 10,000 followers mm. or more and I really want to share today that if you take away anything, 100 really engaged followers is so much more lucrative 
than 10,000 not engaged followers. Mm. And even collaborating with someone who has 100 really engaged followers is so powerful for your Let's brand. high five for this because, <laughs> yeah. you know what? Women think they have to buy followers to swipe up, but I'm with you. Right now I've got less than 10,000 followers, but I know when people book in for coffee dates, 90% of them convert into clients. So it's the quality, mm -hmm. not the quantity. And I really want people to take this away from this lesson with you today. It's like building that sense of community spirit. Oh my gosh, absolutely 100% preach. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we've talked about collaborations. The last thing is consistency. Consistency mm. is important. People want to get to know you and how freeing to know that you don't have to pretend to be someone else. You mm. show up as the real true you and people are going to connect with you just mm. like they do in real life and that's just so liberating. So I invite our students to think about a type of content that they can create consistently. You don't have to be the full-time creator who's the Universal Pictures or the Walt Disney. In fact, really raw content is what is get going so viral these days. Mm -hmm. So show up as yourself, create content that's easy. It could be little snippets throughout your day. It could be quotes that you create on Canva. It could be behind the scenes footage where you set up your camera, you put it on time lapse and you just film yourself at the computer and the value you give is the text that you use on the screen. So find a way that you can show up so consistently and just keep going with that. Okay, I'm going to admit something. When I first started Powerful Steps, I was the girl known as, you know, 60 little black dresses, pulling the levers for other people, and I was invisible. And then I had to step forward in a more powerful way. I had to show up as my authentic self. Now, I remember Instagram stories. People like, you know, Tori, you have such a global life. Show people snippets of what goes on behind the scenes. And I thought to myself, do people really want to know this? Now, what I've learned with the algorithms, but also taking people on a customer journey to become a great leader, you also need to be authentic. So the power of your story is really important, but also the power of living your mm. story and get to your truth is even more important. How often should we be posting about our personal life, what we value most, and a little bit of behind the scenes on our lifestyle okay to take people on that journey you know yeah what a great great question 